Hello Aqua Aries, welcome back to my channel. We're doing your next 48. This is going to be episode 14 and 15 for March. Aqua Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's see what messages come out for you, okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, Aqua Aries. If you have questions regarding a personal reading, um, the description box will be your best friend, okay? What you see is what you get. All right, so let's see here. What are the messages for Aquarius? All right. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. This is, this is, is your energy. This first, this is first Deacon of Aquarian. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the uh, the High Priestess. So it looks like somebody's making you an offer. Somebody is only communicating with you. With you, it's like somebody wants to win or somebody wants to be right. With the Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, it's like, yeah, somebody's only, somebody's making you an offer, but I'm getting it's very petty or it has, somebody's trying to be malicious. Somebody does not have good intention. I'm getting you already know this with the High Priestess. You already know why somebody's communicating with you or why somebody's reaching out with, out, out, somebody's reaching out to you or why somebody is doing this. I'm getting to, you're trying to figure out what this person wants or where this communication is coming from or why this person is doing what they are doing. I'm also getting to you, you have a new opportunity here. I'm getting the source is going to be unknown, but I'm getting, I'm getting, it's a good, it's a good thing to look out for you and follow your intuition. Okay. Don't let anybody talk you out of a new opportunity here. I'm getting, I'm getting do what's best for you. All right. So let's see. Yeah. So we have the ace of, we have the ace of wands. We have the eight of cups and then we have the hierophant. So I'm getting there's a secret relationship here or a secret romance, all right? Yeah, so I'm getting you started something new recently. This could be a secret romance. This could also, this could be tied to romance and work, but something that's exciting, something that's new, something fun, enthusiastic, something that you can, something, I'm getting you won something here. I'm getting two, you are winning something or you have the green light, you have the go, somebody's telling you, yes, you got this, you won, you are being accepted, you're being approved. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, a, you have a new opportunity. You're leaving an old opportunity behind. You're going to do what is best and what's in your best interest here. I'm getting, you know what to do. You know, this is good for you. Yeah, this is morally correct. Okay. It's, um, this, this is what's right for you inside your heart. Yeah, I'm getting, even if this is something new, I'm getting, you have to keep it a secret though. Maybe it's where you're moving or how you're moving, what you're doing. You have to keep that a secret. I'm getting this new opportunity could be a threat to someone else. So it's like, you know, the high priest is hierophant. It's a, it's a secret love or I'm getting to you're traveling with someone secretly. You're going, you're, okay, let's see what this is. Yeah, but I'm, I'm getting basically, you're, you're leaving a situation that's that, you know, because it was, it's good for you. It's in your best interest. I'm getting, it has to do with work. It could be an institution. This could be school too. You're going off for school. I'm getting there's something about school or an institution or a religion. You're doing something. You know it's the right thing to do. You're trying, you're, you're trying to be noble here. What's the eight of cups? So this could be the military or marriage. You know you have you know you have to, you know you're um it's only right to propose to someone or to get married to someone or make a, you know, build a family, a foundation here. Yeah, it's something that you're doing because it's like your it's like your moral compass is calling to your soul. What's the eight of cups? So I'm getting, I'm getting like you're turning something down here. To do something, to do like the right thing or to do what's best for you. I'm getting, you're turning down multiple opportunities, maybe even opportunities to be with other people. I'm getting, it's a fire sign and an earth sign. You're turning both of these people down. Are you turning down both of these opportunities to kind of do, you, I'm getting two, you're leaving something more practical to do something more spiritual here. Yeah, you feel like something, you, you feel like something is, is going to fulfill you on a spiritual level. So you're, so you're going you're gonna to do that. You're, you're going to start your spiritual journey now. Okay, let's see. But I'm getting, you feel like it's best to walk away from these two opportunities. Okay, to not start these two new things with these people. Maybe stay with who you're with. Work on your marriage or work on your partnership or work on your current job or your spirituality here. Okay, what's the eight of cups, please? Yeah, we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting to you have a you have an opportunity to be single, all right, to be self-sufficient. I'm getting you want to be on your own. You're gonna be on your own here for a while. You're gonna focus on what's best for you, building your business, okay, investing your money, just doing well for yourself. 
Yeah, somebody something is something is freeing you, an opportunity that's coming in. I'm getting it's it's your it's it's your spirituality, you're very independent. All right, what is the high priestess? Yeah, I'm also getting too, you find, you're finding out about a secret lover that somebody's married. So I'm getting something is being found out through investigation. You were looking around. We have the death card, the title card, the five of pentacles, and the seven wands. Yeah, you're walking away, you're walking away from a third party situation or a situation where, where you had to keep it a secret or you were the secret, you were the secret lover. Yeah, I'm getting, you're gonna, I'm getting you're just going to be on your own here. You're going to be independent. You're going to be single. You're going to focus on yourself, on your life, on your spiritual destiny here. Yeah, because I'm, I'm getting a situation where you kind of had to, you, somebody was hiding you, okay, or somebody was keeping your secrets for you, or you were keeping secrets from this person. Okay, let's see. What is the high priestess? Yeah, we have the hangman. Yeah, something is over here, okay? I'm getting, you have actually been waiting for something to end, or you were waiting for somebody to actually you know, you re reveal who you are. Yes, we're together. This is my girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever. You've been waiting, you were waiting on this person to do that, but I'm getting somebody was not willing to leave their spouse, or somebody was not willing to, like, actually make you a priority, put you first, kind of put you in the, you know, put you in the, um, put you in the spotlight here. Like, somebody kept you un hidden. Okay, so what's the hangman? So I'm getting you're seeing somebody for you're seeing somebody for who they truly are now. All right, somebody's true colors are coming to light. You're seeing you're seeing you're seeing marriage different, situations different, love different. Okay, you're seeing you're seeing secrets differently. I'm getting something. There's something about religion or marriage or the institution of marriage or relationships. You're seeing that completely different now. All right, what's the hierophant? Okay, the world card. Yes, yeah, something is over. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting. You're going to end something. I'm getting. It's not going to be easy for you to do, or it wasn't. It was not easy for you to walk away from this person. It's not easy for you to be single because I'm getting. You still do love this person, but you're seeing some. You're seeing a situation completely different now. You know you have to walk away. You know it's it's what's best for you, even though it's hard. All right, somebody has not been communicating with you. You might you might even have to tell her. You might even have to realize that somebody's actually somebody does not want to be in a relationship. All right, somebody does not want a new beginning. Somebody just wants to focus on them and their own work. And this might be hard for you to believe that somebody, this person has been ignoring you. You have heard nothing from this person for quite some time. There's been no communication. I'm getting it's been over for quite some time, but you still regret the past. You regret how it ended. You Maybe you let this person hang and you just regret how things have to be at this time. You wish it could be different. Okay, but I, I, you know you have to move on with your life. You know you have to move forward. Even if you can't, if you never get that closure, I'm getting, you know this is over and it's it's like no coming back from this. Okay, I'm getting it's been on your mind really heavy, the situation. And it's, I'm getting it's really hard for you to let go of this, but you you know it's over. You know this person is not going to come back to you. Okay, yeah, there's somebody from your past. It could be a friend or an old lover, of course. Okay, this person is not, this person is not coming back. I'm getting they have not spoken to you. There has been no communication. There's no there's been no feelings expressed at all. Nothing. And I'm getting you know that this this person is long gone. All right. So I'm I'm getting like you're just this is just now hitting you, or you're just, you're just now realizing this. It's that you just have to accept that this person is gone. They're not coming back. They're really focused on themselves, on their destiny, on their journey. All right. Somebody could have went off to school too, and you're missing this person. What's the Five of Cups energy on my card? Yeah, the, so it's the Empress. It, it could be somebody that you were m once married to, or it could be your mother. Maybe your mother, you know, you haven't spoken to your mother in a long time, and that could, you could be missing that person. But I'm getting you're missing a spouse, someone that you were very much attracted to, a divine feminine, divine counterpart. Okay, I'm getting you, you're wishing you knew it had potential. It was, I'm getting you lost something that was really good. This is like the one that got away. Somebody who's a nine of pentacles, the empress energy, uh, uh, you know, the high priestess, someone who's very creative, intuitive, very independent, someone who knows how to grow and prosper. All right, I'm getting you saw yourself with this person. You saw yourself being with this person sitting next to them. And I'm getting you had the chance, but you did something. You did, you did what was best for you at that time. You did, what you, thought what, you did what you thought the best thing was at that time, which was to walk away and study and focus on yourself here. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting this is this is like something that you're imagining. You can't let go of this this dream or this, this you know. But I'm, I'm getting you are. There is something good going on here for you. I'm also getting too. You have to take an opportunity somewhere else, and it's gonna. It's, whoever this person is, they treat you very well. You're going to be living in the lap of luxury. You're not going to want for anything. But I'm getting you're still missing somebody from your past. You wish you could have had this with that person. You wish you could have been living it up with that other person. I'm getting you are living well right now. You're doing well. You're 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 independent. You're self sufficient, self reliant. Okay, you're living your best life. And I'm getting you wish somebody in the past could be here with you now to see to see you now to live this with you, live this life with you. All right. Yes, yeah, it's like you're wishing that somebody else was in their shoes. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video. Okay, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.